Hey guys, how's it going? This is Korea Sid. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Stupid Idiotic Air Guitar Strings. Guys, I use these exclusively on all my air guitars. They are easy to install, last forever, and they bring a fantastic sound. So stay tuned. Are you in a band? I'll tell you, coming up next. All right, thanks again for tuning in. You know what, I just got back this last weekend from an awesome, awesome trip up to Las Vegas in which we saw a Filipino show uh, with Vice Ganda and a few of the extra, a few local Philippine uh, artists uh, up there in the Vegas area. And one of them that we saw was a, a band called Black Couch, which man, I love. I was up on stage, it had special access pass. You know, I'm up there, you know, you've probably seen this on my, my, uh, my Facebook page, but man, Super cool to be up on stage, listening to the beat, looking out, you know, from stage, you know, and from the stage, and just looking out into you know, what would be the crowd. It was just fantastic, super great thing. But the thing was, it's so weird. It's like, as I'm walking around, you know, and security's like, "Hey, are you with the band?" Yeah. Okay. You now I got my little pass. All right, come on in, man. Come on in. But it was just so cool. I absolutely love it. Another thing has been kind of going on lately is like people are like. Um, at work, I find this kind of ironic. And my coworkers back me up on this. People are like, "Hey, man, are you, are you, are you in a band? Or do you like play an instrument?" I'm absolutely honored. And you know, again, if you guys follow me on some of my my posts on Facebook and you know, see me, you know, kind of have a couple drinks and stuff like that, you always see me with these pieces of wood. Know? and uh, I make these and you know I, I tell them I'm like you know what I, I do play guitar but man, I don't have any strings kind of gets some funny looks you know and I explain to them yeah I make these guitars and stuff like that but I tell you these things here man I absolutely love them and I get bored I get this wild idea you know and then I go on the internet and then I kind of make my patterns and stuff like that and then paint them up and it's like when you're making these guitars, it's like I'm listening to the band that, of the guitar, that, you know, or the artist that I'm you know, making the guitar for. So, but man, these things have provided me like hours and hours and hours of like entertainment, you know, and I've actually got up to like 14 of them. I've made 14, and I've, you know, I got six in the Philippines, which, you know, if you go to the Kuya Nation page and you see Kuya's Bar and Grill, uh, Philippines, you'll see a lot. And I've also, at the end of this video here, I'm going to post a bunch of pictures of, you know, just various uh, of the guitars in just various locations. But yeah, guys, I, you know, some people might say, you know what, dude, that's like so stupid, man. Why don't you learn how to play guitar? Dude, I, if I could play guitar, I would. I would love to. I would love to. But it's just I don't have the patience to sit there. And believe me, Ate Rose has invested more than enough money and guitars and musical instruments through the 30 years of our marriage, you know, to where I'm like, you know what, none of them, you know, panned out on anything. So I'm just going to do this. I have more fun, you know, making them and stuff like that. And uh, I just do it. So this be, you're like a poser. You know what, I, I know, I get it, I get it. But if you're a musician and you play guitar or any other instrument, you know, in a, in a band, you know what guys? I salute you. I am absolutely in awe of your talent. And I thank you so much as being a, an artist, a performer, you know, to like, just put on these awesome shows and just, you know, you might be having the most crappy day, but man, when you get to go, you know, and rock out, you know, listening to a band, feel, you know, the bass in your chest, you know, and just super loud music, just let you forget about all your problems. And I love that. I just enjoy the heck out of it. But you know, while I'm here at home, you know, it's like I'll put my, you know, iPod on and, you know, your your buds and have a couple of drinks and just sit out there in the back. And you know what? You do this for like two hours straight, man, it's gonna wear you out. It, and I mean you gotta put your heart into it. Rose sits there and watches me, you know, like run around the backyard with these things. You know, and she's like, oh my god, the guy's gone crazy. But I tell you what, it's a good stress reliever. I love it. It's cool to sweat, you know, and just Freaking enjoy it and go into another freaking world, man. Try doing an Iron Maiden live concert live in Rio. Uh, and just, just try it. 
trying to play one, one disc, one CD, you know, and uh, see how you feel afterwards. Non-stop, non-stop, you gotta keep this on. You know, and that was another thing about these, you know, when you have these guitars on, it's neat to feel the weight. You know you've all done it, man. When you've had a couple of drinks, you know, and you just sit there and you start doing this. But it's like, you got the strap, you know, around your neck, you know, and you got the neck and stuff like that. And it's just awesome. I, I tell you what, I love it. And I wish, you know, I could make more. But, uh, you know what, it, it costs about, uh, you know, 30 or 40 bucks to make one of these. And they're made out of like one inch thick pine. And, you know, and I trace it out and then cut it out with a jigsaw, sand it up, paint it up, put some uh, lacquer on it, and let's go hit the stage, man. But yeah, these things are absolutely fun. I enjoy it. Um, that was one of my dreams on my bucket list, man. It's like to go to the Philippines, find you know a club like early on in the day and stuff like that, you know, and like see if I can pay them you know, some pesos, hand them my iPod or whatever, and like, dude, listen. You know, just give me the stage. Nobody's in there. Nobody to mess around with me. Buy a couple of drinks for myself. You know, just, just like you know, an hour, thirty minutes, whatever, and just you know, jam out on stage and just feel the lights. You know, come on and stuff like that. So, but when I was in the Marines back in the '80s, when I, the first time I was over there in Japan, we actually had an air band, and that was called Shotgun, which we actually went and did a performance. We won second place, we, and then we like took the money from that. And we went and bought a bunch of beer, rented out the base pool at night, and had a fan fan appreciation night. Then when I went back uh, six months later over to Korea, we did another band, and that was called Shattered Image, in which we actually worked you know, at a bar, the Blaze Club, out in Yichon, uh, Korea, man. The Koreans didn't even know where it was. So it was really cool. We had a freaking blast, man. I tell you, it was my... Everybody's like, man, you can't run three miles, but you can sit here and jump around for like four hours a night, you know, nonstop. But it's just, that's the electricity, you know, that the music gives you. But I love it. I wish I could start, you know, a little like air band here, you know, and here in Arizona, man, you know, in the garage, you know, somebody make up a drum set, you know, make some more instruments, you know what, and just uh, pick these songs out and just, you know, go into another world. I know it sounds really weird. But anyway, that's my little method to the madness with these little air guitars. And, uh, I've had a lot, a lot of compliments on them. People that come over here, you know, throw one on, man. Let's go. Turn up the music, you know, have a drink, and uh, just get lost in our own world, you know, with the lights and stuff like that. It really feels cool. I know. Dude, you like lost it. I don't understand how you could do daily devotions and then, you know, you sit there and, you know, jam out the rock and roll, but I love it. That's what keeps me going. It's like, it's like a fight song, you know, just to keep rocking, man. But anyway, enjoy the pictures at the end, the ones where my hair was short, you know, and stuff like that, and when it looks like it was an old uh, picture, yeah, that's the one that was in uh, Yechon, Korea. But all the other ones just, uh, you know, other weekends and stuff like that, uh, randomly, you know, that's what I do on the weekends. It gets a little boring out here. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I didn't freak you all out. Man, I know I can't afford it to lose any more subscribers. Give me a thumbs up, give me a give me a comment, man. Give me a share. Again, you know, you never know what's gonna come up here. But anyway, guys, always love you. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, bye-bye.